Well, South Carolina fired Will Muschamp a few weeks ago, and they have already made their decision on who will be their next head coach. Many thought it would be Louisiana's Billy Napier, Coastal Carolina's Jamie Chadwell, or Scott Satterfield from Louisville, or the offensive coordinator from Florida in Brian Johnson, as those guys were also interviewed. But it looks like the Beamer family is back in the head coaching business, as the Gamecocks hired Shane Beamer to be their next head coach. I was honestly puzzled when I saw this headline, and had to refresh the page because I didn't even know who he was. I really didn't even know what to make of the hire, so today we'll talk about who Shane is, why they hired him, and why I actually think he could potentially be genius for the program. First, if you love college football, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, be sure to give the video a like, share it with your friends, comment your thoughts, suggest a future video topic, and stay until the end. Now let's get started and talk about Shane Beamer. Obviously, Shane Beamer is the son of legendary Virginia Tech head coach Frank Beamer, so coaching does run in his blood. Shane got his first start in coaching with George O'Leary at Georgia Tech, and then he went over to the SEC. From 2001 to 2003, he was a grad assistant under Philip Fulmer at Tennessee, and that's where he started to make a name for himself. He then went to Mississippi State, where he was in charge of coaching cornerbacks and recruiting, and he did a great job recruiting there. He did such a good job, actually, that he was hired by Steve Spurrier at South Carolina to coach linebackers and serve as the team's recruiting coordinator. The defense got a lot better and recruiting was great, as he brought in guys like Stephon Gilmore, Alshon Jeffrey, Marcus Lattimore, and Jadavian Clowney. He went back to Virginia Tech under his dad and helped coach David Wilson into the ACC Player of the Year in a first round draft pick at running back. He did get into a little trouble though because he apparently took the advice from a former Wake Forest radio analyst who gave him Wake Forest's game plan. This didn't service until a few years later when he was fined $25,000 when he arrived at Georgia after his dad had retired. He was a tight ends coach for two years at Georgia, and then he went to Oklahoma. He's had a pretty solid role there, and as the son of a Hall of Fame coach, he was the guy who apparently emerged as the main target for South Carolina when Will Muschamp was fired. They probably definitely went after some bigger names, but it seemingly he was the guy from the beginning they wanted. He has received a lot of support from South Carolina's most prominent football alumni, and he even met with the Gamecock officials two weeks ago to discuss the job. And this Saturday, he was apparently not there for Oklahoma's game against Baylor, and it's probably because he took this job. A very notable guy that he plans to have on his staff is Connor Shaw. He's one of the most famous Gamecock quarterbacks of all time, and he's currently the quarterback's coach, and he will now probably have a big role into the program. I was very skeptical at first of the hire, but looking into this a little bit more, I actually think he could be genius. He's got ties to the program. He's got recruiting ties in the area. He's been a very successful recruiter. He's had success being a coordinator. He's been well-traveled across a lot of solid programs, and he's coached just about everything there is to do. He's an offensive mind compared to Muschamp on defense, and if he can hire the right coordinator, South Carolina's offense could be a lot of fun to watch as they have really talented quarterbacks in Ryan Holinsky and Luke Doty. I personally think this is a really good hire from where they were. I honestly would have taken Billy Napier if I had the choice, but he will likely take a bigger job, and South Carolina was not where Billy wanted to go. The hire has gotten mixed reactions. A lot of fans don't know what's going on. A lot of people who aren't well-versed in South Carolina don't know what's going on. But in terms of people who are connected to the program and people who actually matter, people are pretty happy with this. Former South Carolina fullback Patrick DeMarco had this to say. I have full confidence that Shane will put together a heck of a staff and will light up the scoreboard and make Carolina exciting again. Shane has ties to the state and the university and owned the state during his time at USC in terms of recruiting and helped bring in South Carolina recruits like Lattimore, Alshon Jeffrey, Jadavion Clowney, Stefan Gilmore, and many more. I think most casual fans were like me and they were scratching their heads because they just saw some dude who they probably didn't know get hired, but if you look into it a little bit more and you look at what the professionals are saying, they understand the hire and after diving into it a little bit more, I really like the hire and I think this has a lot of potential. It is a serious boomer bust though, but this is the kind of hire that South Carolina needs to make if they ever really want to take the next step. Kentucky hired Mark Stoops, Arkansas surprisingly hired Sam Pittman, and Missouri took a chance on Elijah Drinkwitz, and all three of those hires have looked pretty good so far, especially the Stoops one in retrospect. So we gotta wait and see what happens, and not every program is gonna hire an established coach. But what do you guys think? If you're a South Carolina fan, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you're a casual college football fan, let me know your thoughts as well and some other coaching hires and fires you think could happen, and just let me know another topic I should cover. If you want to help the video and the channel do better, be sure to hit that like button, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and check out all my other videos, including the downfall of Will Muschamp. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.